At one point, some years ago, the bass legend Juan Altorete came up to Kerry Nostrand with his 60s Goya Panther bass and uh, Kerry got inspired and they made this bass the Asinonix bass, aka the cat bass, a short scale stunner. This video is a model video, meaning that I won't be making one for the black one and the red one. So I'll just introduce what I have here. So this is the surf green. This is the Lake Placid blue. This is the Dakota red, which I think is really cool. And the black one. <laughs> There's also a Olympic white, but that's already sold out, so I couldn't show you that one. Um, so yeah, a for sure 60 vibed bass, short scale bass, 30.7 inches of bass. And as you can see, super lightweight. The base body is made out of alder, rosewood and maple, so this is for sure a classic combination. Very warm and soft and wobbly kind of base. Uh, very cool. It could be a toy though, um, a very funky toy, but uh, I think over time it already proven that this is a base that is serious so studio recordings are already being made on this great wonder like Tim Lefevre, uh, Pino Palladino I think just got one and uh, I also know some pretty cool European players that are already playing this in the studio for some specific uh, genres. I think if I have to say something a little gnarly, <laughs> I think, but I think actually it's Carrie's and Juan Altuera's favorite thing, and it's also very 60s with these switches here. But I think, to be honest, uh, if I was going for only function, uh, I would probably prefer uh, normal knobs. <laughs> but this is very cool, so, and funky. Uh, this is the pickup selector and you have the EQ section here. If you push this in, the first one, it's both, and then the neck, and then the bridge, and then there's a mute. Really nice, really handy. And if you push all four in, you have the single coils in series, so you have this kind of humbugging, a little more powerful, which uh, for some reason I always go for a little humbugger action when it's available. The EQ section, basically flat, uh, heavily rolled off and even more heavily rolled off. And then there is also a scoop. Um, yeah, I think uh, this is a point because it's the 60s and a weird looking bass, weird looking headstock. I'm trying to hypnotize you with the very weird Headstock. And actually, to be honest, I said to Hang, I read it when I saw the first drawings of the, the base that I thought 
you should make the headstock differently because it's too weird. But I actually really, really like it now. So I'm sorry, Huang, for dissing your headstock. Uh, but uh, now I just think it's yay, <laughs> super sexy. The single coils are Nostrand's own uh, pickups, and it's uh, the ceramic pickups, and I think it's bit poles. Um, if you are not familiar with Nordstrand audio in general, I think you can say Kerry Nordstrand is very, very well known for his pickups and these sounds incredible good as well. Hip shot bridge made for this bass for sure. And uh, yeah, what's not to like? Super funky short scale bass that you can actually use, which, by the way, obviously is the point. Um, yeah, I dig. I think you will dig it as well. Peace, take care, and hey, back to the groove.